frontier is, is, is certainly the orexine uh, antagonist. Uh, orexine is a strange neuropeptide uh, which is lacking in some pathologies and probably it is dysfunctional in other. And um, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we have new ways to modulate these receptors and to play the game that is uh, this special substance. Because the problem is that erexin is not abundant in the, in the brain. But although it is limited in, in space and, and, and quantity, it seems to have a very important and relevant uh, uh, role in regulating the balances uh, of other neurotransmitters. So probably if we act on this, we are in, there's a cascade of other, of other um, situations that can be improved or um, impaired. Um, I, the only, the only, the only uh, objection, cultural objection, is that we are trying to treat a sleep disorder creating in miniature another sleep disorder, which is called narcolepsy. So <laughs> um, probably it looks like a vaccination, you know, that you're treating, you're, you're treating vi the virus with another virus, which is the same virus, but it's smoother and less infective than the previous one. So it's, it's, a, little, it's a strange approach, but I'm really, I'm really curious to to appreciate any any improvement that it can give us in terms of clinical advantages, but also new knowledge on the understanding the 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 the, the underlying mechanisms of sleep disorders. We hope that uh, we can we can put sleep uh, starting. We, we we probably must write uh, as medical doctors, psychologists we should probably return to the university and rehearse all the things that uh, we, we learned in the, during the, the years of, uh, of our academic knowledge. And probably it's time to write a new, new handbooks on what happens during the night. So if you're studying diabetes, it's time to study diabetes and sleep. If you study cancer, it's time to study cancer and sleep. If you study hypertension, it's time to study hypertension and sleep and so on. In my opinion, it's time to rewrite the handbooks of, of medicine and understand that if we don't put sleep inside the natural approach to modern medicine, I'm afraid that we will have only um, a partial vision of what is real, the real, the real connections between what happens during the night and what happens during the day.